Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos One, and we are here today with some Ground Branch Weapon Customization Reviews, and we are going to check out the different ways you can customize your weapons and your gear on the game Ground Branch. Now, I just got this game yesterday, I've been messing around with it a little bit, Now I've been playing Ready or Not too since I caught my PC, and I, I absolutely love Ready or Not, that's a great game, however, there is not too many weapon customizations in it. The weapons and the weapon customizations, the attachments are very limited. But Ground Branch feels like a game that's not nearly as put together as Ready or Not. But the weapon customizations are out of this world. I mean, there is just... I've never met a game to match the weapon customizations that I've seen so far in Ground Branch. It's beyond sick with it. For real. I wish they would definitely develop this game a little bit more because this... The weapon customization is sick as hell. So here, let's go over to the, um, the bench real quick, and we'll check this shit out. Anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Tactical Chaos 1 Gaming on YouTube. Really appreciate you guys' support. Hope you guys are enjoying my videos. If you are, like rating would be sick with it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Help the homie out. All right, let's go over here. So you see right here, we got, um, you got different gear. You can customize your gear. I mean, customize... You got a few different camos. But we're just going to leave this one black for now. Let's see all the different shirts you got. You got a good amount of different clothes. But you can't customize this shit in Ready or Not either. But of course Ready or Not you're just a SWAT member. So you don't really need to customize all this stuff. Anyway, but this ain't what impressed me. I can do all this in Ghost Recon. What really impressed me on this game is right here. So, you could basically put your attachments any which way you want on the gun. Which I think is sick with it. Because if you don't like your uh, your um, magnifier too far back or too close up, you can adjust it. Put your holographic back as far as you want it. Put your PEQ box on the top rail, side rail, other side rail up as high as you want it back as far as you want it it doesn't matter you could put it wherever you want which is hella sick and very important here you want a tack light on the bottom rail so you could put your QPQ box on the side rail and then you want to get an under barrel attachment here let's put an angle grip on that Wait. maybe you can't put an angle grip on it with that attachment on Oh, no, you can't do that. That's the bipod. I don't want the bipod. I want that. All right. So we got to put that back kind of far because we do have a tack light right in front of it. Uh, so look, we got an angle grip with a tack light on it. Muzzle. We only got two different suppressors, so let's see. We'll put the beige suppressor on it just because it looks sick. Now let's go ahead and go over to the sights. Look at all the different sights there are. Tons of different sights. Let's see, I don't even know what the hell that is. So let's go check this out real quick. Oh, wait. It must be placed in front of magnified optics. Oh, okay. So we're just going to remove that until I learn what the hell that is. So we got two different magnifiers. We got the G33 magnifier black and the GG3 magnifier tan. So if you want the tan one, like I had on there, let's say you want the black one. You know, I think it would be better if you could actually change the camo yourself on the attachments instead of just having different attachments for it. But, you know, they can't get everything right. So here's the different holographics. I got the uh, EXP black and the exp tan or you could do the uh, 553 hollow if you, which i like a lot too that's a sick ass hollow let's see then we got this site which i don't see myself using that too much okay here we go this is one of the you can put your uh you got iron sights, different types of iron sights. You got the Micro T1 sight, Micro T1 right uh, on a riser. 
Micro T2, Micro T2 on a riser, MK4 sniper scope. So if you want to make a Clay Spencer's from SEAL Team, his HK416, just go ahead and put that right here. Let's see. Put that right here, and then we're going to go over here and go like this. Say we want that. Okay. Apply that. Ah, sorry. Then we're going to go over here to rail mounts. Offset rail. Uh, okay. That's going to get in the way of everything. But say you want right there. We have to put the PEQ box on the other side. Now we're going to go back over to site. Come down here. And you're going to want to go to the low rail. And now you got a canted sight with a sniper scope. Tack light on the bottom. And then you flip your gun around. Uh, now let's go to the PEQ box on the other side. Okay. PEQ 10. Alright, let's check this gun out real quick, guys. Let's go over to the shooting range and see. Now, of course, this is not my style gun. But... It is pretty fun to play around with and make whatever guns you want. Now, I've never met a, ga a game to, you know, implement this, uh, you know, intense, uh, or, uh, intense ain't the word. I've never met a game to implement this much customizations on their weapons in a tactical shooter. Now, I haven't played Escape from Takarov yet, so I cannot speak for that game. But if it's anything like this, that's extremely dope. Now, I've been thinking about getting it since I got a PC. I've been, you know checking out tactical shooters so if you guys got any advice any games you'd like me to check out next you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys think and i actually kind of like my peq box on that side let's see all right let's back up a little bit now the thing that's cool is this game a sniper scope actually might do you good on a uh HK416. Well, at least one of the missions that I played on the last mission because it was really foresty, long distances, and, uh, you know, get a good eye on your enemies first. And if not, you get up close and you want to get them, you can either take them down like that. And then to put the flashlight on, good. now we got our tack light and a laser sight and a sniper scope. Completely retarded ass stupid weapon. I, I mean, it's halfway decent, I guess. Depends if you like to shoot long range or not. Me, I'd rather go with the holographic on my weapon. So let's go back over here. Ah, back up a little bit. Now let's check out the other weapons we got. They got. A bunch of assault rifles I mean if you're a Milsim player and you like this kind of shit I mean like me then you would definitely think this game is super dope absolutely love it all right let's check out how crazy we can make the AK 74 MI I am going to make this shit look sick okay we'll keep it all black this is going to be all black. I'm going to put that on top. Okay. Tack light on the side. Right there. 
Actually, I want the tack light on the other side. Cool. Tack light on that side. Uh, visible laser. Let's just make this. Uh, we don't need. I guess you can't put that on with the PEQ box. Since this is uh, AK, let's just uh, give it a little Russian sight. Put the Cobra on there. And dang it, come here. I don't know if I'm gonna like the way that is, so we're just gonna go ahead and put that like that. That's perfect. Under barrel for AK, let's see. Cool. Not right muzzle. Of course we want a suppressor on that thing. Magazine. Because there's only one type of magazine for it. Alright, let's see how this weapon shoots. It looks kind of weird when you're holding it, so I don't know about that. But it makes my point. The freedom of customization in this game is just super sick. Absolutely love it. But I am going to change the way I have this gun made because I don't like it at all. We are going to put an angle grip and put it far back. Take. Oh, I don't want that. Get off there. All right. Put this back about right here. PUQ box on that side and let's see if it works good now okay that's a lot better but it looks like I lost the attack light that's okay The AK-74 is definitely not my gun. Maybe the AK-74 CQB. This looks a little bit more my swag. We are going to go ahead and put... Let's put a hollow on this sucker. Let's put a... Visible laser right ah uh, come here. Visible laser right here. And tack light right there. Under barrel I'll put like that. Muzzle suppressor.
it's all right but still i'm an ar type person we also got tons of smgs on here i'm not going to go around through all the customizations because you guys definitely get the point that this game has a lot of free autonomy on what kind of guns you want i'll just show you guys the different smgs real quick we got the mp7 mpx ump45 mp7a1 oh wait that's that sorry that was just a, what my son made already my bad yeah we got the mp5 silence version mp5 uh m silence d5 and that's the d6 mp5 a5 mp5 a4 ak74 universal or you whatever two shotguns um four dmrs mark 14 m110 and m110 k1 and the svd and only one lmg but other than that this game has definitely got a lot of potential you know i wish they would start doing some more work on it it's still in early access pre-alpha but it's an all right game i mean the gameplay is a little rough and there's not much going on in it other than just shooting enemies but the weapon customization is awesome so i mean if you guys want to check it out go ahead it's a pretty tight game i just think that they should do a lot more for it they could this could have some serious potential and also i really wish more shooters would give us the free autonomy with our weapons to customize them like this this was a great idea i wish it would be implemented in more video games anyway thank you guys for watching it's tactical chaos one i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one